Hello to friends and welcome to my channel. So in this video I will be continuing my uh, Emerson CQC7 series of videos and uh, this one will be a little bit uh, maybe how I would say it correctly uh, controversial because uh, now that I have shown you my original ones my uh, my original benchmade one it is time to draw uh, into the series of knives that were probably inspired not outright copied from the original design and uh, let's start with a lesser uh, let's say not outright fake but uh, this is not a fake this is a copy and uh, this one was uh, I came across it uh, on an accident. Basically, one of my friends, good friends, uh, who did buy some knives from another uh, collector. He had this one sitting on the shelf and uh, asked me if I uh, would like to to get it because he knows I'm making videos and I try to document this series of of knife uh, history knives about certain designs. So. I said to him, yes, thank you very much, uh, get it uh, for me. And uh, we will be talking about the Linder uh, Solingen liner lock knife. The model number is 322611. This knife has no name. Uh, the information about it is really hard to combine. I did search on, on the internet and did find on, on some, really some shady sites, uh, no information whatsoever few pictures and so on so yeah it is what it is now let's talk about uh, the liner lock so as you can see there the overall shape of the handle the blade itself even the opening and uh, locking mechanisms is a outright uh, homage or copy of the of the CQC7 or more to be precise the variant without the B without the, the wave, so this is my uh, Benchmade 970, as you can see there, no wave feature, and the thumb ramp is a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, shorter. So, let's talk about the specification. So we have a over length of 20.2 centimeters, that is 8 inches, so almost the same size as the real one. Uh, the blade is 8.4 centimeters or 3.3 inches. Uh, the blade thickness is 2. Point, um, uh, sorry, the, the blade uh, uh, width is 2.6 uh, centimeters or 1 inch. The blade thickness is 2.6 millimeters, uh, 0.1 inch. Handles are 11.8 centimeters long on 4.6 uh, inches with a thickness of 1.3 centimeters or 0 0.5 inches. So the materials, as far as I could uh, search the the composition it is some kind of uh, 420 stainless steel please keep in mind uh, uh, this knife was made uh, a really long time ago i don't know if they are still available i could not find it on any any kind of web shop available so uh, we are talking about more than 10 years probably it did sh sit on the shelf uh, at the original owner on the blade we have also only linder and rust fry, what means stainless steel or stainless. The opening uh, is a disc really similar to, to the real deal from Emerson. As you can see the thumb ramp differences. It has a much finer uh, jimping on it. As far as handles goes, uh, yeah, uh, it is some kind of aluminium coated with something. Uh, as you can see, there a little bit damage, and we have a non-slip elastomer insert. I have not seen this material since a long, long time. So it is something like like Zytel or gravery to be more precise so it feels like rubberized plastic on both sides 
it features that old type of uh, Solingen pocket clip which is really uh, soft so soft uh, stiffness and it is held uh, by the pivot screw for pivot assembly uh, we have two Teflon washers as you can see there the lock went over 100% and there is no lock rock or plate whatsoever so really nicely nicely made knife the backspacer is integral so it is also probably uh, aluminium we have really nice uh, screws here so I, I really like to see that uh, this is something uh, companies like Protec are using now seeing an uh, old knife and not uh, have some kind of uh, flimsy small Torx screws which a uh, lot of Chinese companies are using and I uh, must say that I don't know uh, who is the who is the manufacturer of this knife because uh, Linder Solingen is just a company they could be uh, made uh, in some uh, some outsourced uh, knife maker inside Germany but could be also made in China or Taiwan there is definitely nothing on the blade that would hint to there and there is also Linder not Solingen on one side so uh, therefore, I have my suspicions that this is not uh, not made in uh, Germany, but it could be. Who knows? So let me show you the pocket profile it went inside without any problems since it is a soft uh, stiff pocket clip let's see the sharpness out of the box yeah it is sharp but definitely not shaving sharp the yeah it could use some kind of stropping but since this is a really old knife and uh, who knows uh, what the previous owner did uh, to it I cannot say but uh, the grinds looks really nice so probably it was something like this from the factory okay so the weight comes in 134.8 grams or 4.7 ounces uh, let me check my notes of the original one so the original one was 130 or 4.6 so almost the same even even the the overall length uh, is is uh, only one millimeter larger so yeah it looks like they have done a really nice uh, copy of the of the CQC 7 back in the days whatever uh, these were produced And also who knows the the backstory maybe if you if you are watching this video and you know the backstory about this knife please uh, chime in and uh, let me know uh, I have uh, some suspicions maybe somebody uh, did see the popularity of uh, these uh, these uh, uh, Emerson CQC 7s and wanted to, to have a let's say a equivalent uh, product here in Europe because uh, it is not always uh, easy to import uh, American knives uh, in some states and that Germany has also different uh, knife laws than uh, there was maybe some kind of problem in the past and then they opted to produce this or maybe some kind of uh, let's say 
military or uh, police unit wanted to have uh, something like the CQC7 and they contacted uh, uh, Linder or uh, somebody who did work for the company if they can produce these and maybe they uh, sell the surplus to the general public. So uh, who knows what the story is behind it. Maybe I'm somewhere in, in, the, in the ballpark of these two stories. Who knows, maybe just they uh, did like the design and wanted to, to have, uh, they wanted to capitalize on this. Since uh, they are um, mentioning nowhere on the blade Emerson or whatsoever, uh, these are not fakes, these are just copies at best. But I leave that uh, to you. And uh, yeah, so let's see a few uh, size comparisons different other knives that I have here on the table. So here is the Benchmade bug out. CJRB Feldspar, full size. Here is the Recon 1, Mini Recon 1 from Cold Steel Knives. Paramilitary 3. Paramilitary 2. Fool's Christ Griptilian from Benchmade. CV Elementum QSP Penguin nine forty from Benchmade. Red model one, bug vintage Avid, Kershaw Blur, Seven ten from Benchmade. Ace Grand from Giant Mouse. Rough Rider Peanut, and let's close it out with the Cape Bardozer Folding Hunter. So regarding the price, I can not, uh, not uh, mention the price because I don't know uh, for what uh, these were sold initially. If you can find these, uh, yeah, it's my best guess. You pay uh, whatever you like to, to pay for it. The, the real deal for Emerson uh, costs around, let me check quickly. Two hundred and twelve dollars and ninety-five cents. So, at the current market value, I would probably uh, pay no more than than seventy uh, seventy dollars or sixty or seventy dollars uh, for it. But it depends on uh, what your value is, or if you do would like to collect these um, CQC sevens. If you are a collector, then uh, maybe it has a high value. And if you are not, then probably just uh, skip it out, right? Okay. So this was the Solingen or Solingen uh, Linder Liner Lock Knife. If you have any questions, please leave comments down below. 
I'm on the reply as soon as I can. Of course, if you're a subscriber, thank you very much. Big thumbs up to you. And if you are not a subscriber, then please consider subscribing to not miss any future videos. With that being said, wish you fun on the full day. I hope to see you soon. Bye.